Well, hello there, my darlings. And welcome back to Let's Build the Bloody Worlds. And welcome to part one of the Dyer Smith household. We are going to do the last family today. The last kind of lived in build of this world. We've got one more to do after. And it's just a small Airbnb rental unit that we're going to um, just pop in the world somewhere. Um, and I've got this couple. I've got this couple. Well, I'm going to explain who they are in a minute and what I really want you guys to do as well. Now, it is a gay couple. They're elders, but they really want to adopt a teen. They really want to adopt a teen who's had a bit of a troubled background. Um, I would love that teen to be part of the LGBTQIA plus community as well. Um, and I want you guys to make this teen. I really want a really nice story behind them. It doesn't have to be a nice story. It could be a sad story. It could be a good story. But I really want you guys to create a member of Willow Creek. I really want, want to, I want your input. I want your input with this. So if you want to do this, go on the gallery. Make sure they are a teen. Um, and only one person as well. No pets, no nothing with them. And just use this hashtag, Bumpkin Willow Creek. Remember to spell this right because I always see people missing out the K and the B and the P. Lots of things. So Bumpkin Willow Creek. And I will make sure to have a look through them this week. And then next week, I'll pick them and put them in this household. Um, so that is what I really, really want. But the important thing is I really want them to be a member of the LGBTQ, LGBTQIA plus community. And I really want them to... Um, be a teen and you can have whatever kind of preferences genders whatever you like I just would love a, like a nice story in the bio as well because that is the most important thing for me is the story to fit in with this wonderful couple now we're going to be building a new house aren't we so I'm going to show you the kind of style of what I'm thinking about doing today and it's something a bit like this darlings a bit like this very quintessentially kind of like american in a sense um so this is the kind of vibe that i want to go for for this house it's right next door to the Astor bamfords as well so it's quite it's not going to be a huge huge build but it's still going to look very new very smart very suburban that kind of vibe so that is what we're going to do today my dears yes we are indeed um but yeah that's it as usual part ones are normally quite slow to start we'll just get a basic idea of the shape and whatnot down of the house um, but first off, let's go and meet the couple and I'll tell you a bit about their backgrounds and we'll go from there. And here they are, my dears, the Dyer Smith household. Um, gay couple, been together for very, very many years. Since they were kind of in their late teens, they've gone through life together. I'm seeing them probably in their late 40s, early 50s now, to be honest with you. Someone's going to come and talk to them. Let's Who's coming to talk to you? Someone's come. Is that bloody, is that fucking Eliza Pancakes? Piss off! Die! <laughs> Death to all of them. I'm joking. That's very bad for me to say. Anyway, she's a twat. You know, you know, I don't care. I don't care. Anyway, let's have a little story time, shall we? Christopher Die Smith. Christopher Die Smith hot. Yes, they are. They are both very, very hot. Of course, they are. They're my Sims. I like to make my Sims hot because I am that shallow. Um, <laughs> but I mean, da do. I mean, da do. <laughs> Christopher Dyer Smith. Now they're both retired. They're both retired. They've got a nice little nest pot of gold. Um, Christopher, I see, was probably a nurse. I reckon he was kind of in the caring field, maybe in a retirement home or something like that. That kind of nurse loves to care for people. Good to all of his neighbours. Get along, gets along with absolutely everybody as well, which I, which I love, which I really, really love. Um, he loves to cook. Loves to cook. He. He's not really a gardener per se, to be honest with you. His main focus is now just chilling out and enjoying life. But that's where he started to feel like, I really wish that I had a family. I will, I don't want a child. I'm not in the kind of like position really to have a child and retired and whatnot, blah, 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 blah. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing if you're retired and you've got children. Fabulous. But it's just not Christopher's shit, love. So he decided to talk to his wonderful boyfriend, who I will... Sorry, husband. How very bloody dare I indeed. This is Benson. Oh, Benson, open your eyes, darling. Darling, open your eyes. There he is. There's Benson. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Christ. This is Benson. Benson Dyer Smith. I reckon he... Oh, he's quite... He's quite um, <laughs> awkward. <laughs> awkward. Are you like... Are you... 
Are you sisters? I think they might be sisters. No, they're not. They're not related in any kind of sense, but they do look very familiar. They look, look, familiar? What is familiar? They look like, they look very similar. Anyway, before we went off on a tangent there. Now, Benson has always worked from home. He's a writer. He's a really good writer. He writes lots of crime novels. He's not that kind of well-known, to be honest with you. Um, none of his books have ever got up on the top sellers list, but he's got really big. He's got like a good following of people who have kind of loved his career, loved his books, loved his stories. Um, and yeah, he works from home. So we need to definitely make an office for him as well. An office is very important for him to do his work and whatnot. And he's constantly worked from home. So this is nothing new to them. They bought this house, I reckon, maybe 10, 15 years ago. 10, 15 years ago is this nice big plot here where we're going to start it today. Um, and these two are just madly in love. I reckon they were kind of gay at a time where it wasn't kind of okay to be gay. When it should have been okay to be gay because it's always fucking okay to be gay. Let me just get that out there before I carry on. Um, but times are a bit difficult for these two. But their love prevailed. They got married. I reckon as soon as it got legalized... Can you even believe we're saying that? Can you actually even believe that we have to say that in this day and age? After it got legalized, when Sharon can go and marry a fucking horse in some places around the world. Just saying. Um, sorry, I went on a tangent then. But um, yeah, big love. Big love between these two. Best friends. They've got a big circle of friends as well. I'm definitely going to make sure that they all of the relationships are kind of added up with people before the save file comes out and stuff. But yeah, I really, really love these and I cannot wait for you guys to kind of get involved with this family as well and um, make a beautiful sim. Make a beautiful sim to move into this place. Whatever you like, as I said, genders, um, whatever they go under with the LGBT community. Just, yeah, I just want a nice story behind them. But yeah, let's do this, my darlings. We're We've got to build a house fit for these two. So we definitely need two bedrooms. We're going to do a two bedroom house plus one room to be an office um and i want it done in that kind of like style that we had so if you see me looking over in a minute it's because i'm looking at the reference image um but yes that's it i don't need to say anything more i'm going to get into build mode and we're going to start building okay you beautiful fuckers let's start shall we so yes i reckon we do i reckon we can do this i reckon we could get this house looking quite similar actually because it's got a lot of the stuff Kind of, there's a lot of the stuff on this house looks like it could belong in The Sims as well. It's that very quintessential looking American, from my own perspective, a British person house. And that is what I want to do. Now, this is a chimney west, So we are going to west it all the way up. Yes, very good. Let's get those walls up, please. Thank you. And there is a third one. We'll try a third one, see what it looks like. Um, Got that little moment going on there. Is that big enough there? Or can I do one more? No, I think that's going to be okay. I think what I will do, however is bring this out further here so in fact let me just move that wall that'd be easier if i just move this to excuse you i don't want to replace it i want to oh god this bloody thing right you're there i want you one more there please thank you stunning how are you <laughs> excuse me why i choke on my own spit <laughs> excuse me why i choke and die on my own spit and I usually small. Oh, I did not say that. <laughs> Why am I this way? Why am it's you lot? You lot bring out the disgusting filth in me. You really do. Do you know what? I'm for that. I really am. Absolutely for it. <laughs> really am. Okay, then we've got this going around here. What I was going to say, however, was how are you lot doing? I hope you're good. It's um, I absolutely adore you. Just wanted to put that out there. Just wanted to put that out there. I love fucking reading through your comments every single day it makes my day it really really does um so you're all special to me let me just say that i know i'm being sappy but sometimes in life you've got to be a bit of a sappy bitch haven't you darlings you really do so that is me being a little sappy bitch <laughs> you're welcome you are welcome you are absolutely welcome right let's get down to this level so we can see what we're doing Right, I'm going to bring you to there, and I think I'm going to drag you to there, like that, face down, like that. That's a nice floor space at the bottom. Definitely be able to fit an office in there. Hopefully. Hopefully we can, darlings. Now, oh, oh no, this is this one. Oh, oh, interesting roof. Okay, right, that's what we're going to try all this. See what happens. Right, we're going to flop that to there. I think I'm just going to square this off. So, if 
five to there. Just so I can get the roof on there first. Um, this one here is a single story. Yeah, that one's a single story there. This one here is double around this side though. So this is probably where all the bedrooms are going to be. So I am just going to do this whole shebang like that. So it just keeps it nice and simple. And it will make it easy to roof that then as well. I do believe. I do believe. Also, it is the start of horror month on the channel. We, I've decided, I was, I was like, should we do a speed build? And I was like, no, we're going to do a let's build. We're going to do a let's build for this month. Um, I'm going to do some speed builds as well, don't worry. But I thought we, as a community and as friends, we will build the Sanderson sisters house from Hocus Pocus together. What do you feel about that, darling? I'm going to bring the first part out this week at some point. So be on the looks out for it. I know a lot of you will be excited about that. I've never, ever done the Sanderson's sister's house from Hocus Pocus. Um, so I'm very excited. I'm very excited about doing that. And I'll start that this week. We'll do a nice little let's build with that. So that would like to take a few weeks to do, I reckon. So yes, that's our little project for this week, darling. Sisters, yes. Anyway, moving on. So what this roof is, hopefully I can... Yeah, I should be able to do that. Let me see how high you are. Oh, you're not as wide as what I wanted you to be, actually. Hmm. Hmm. No, it's not. Do you know what? I need to widen this here. So this is going to be annoying. So let me do this off of camera because it would just be boring to watch. Give me one sec. That's much better. That looks much better to me. What I had to do was bathe this window out as well on this side. And I also did the same on this side over here. Um, I just think that's going to be a nice little touch. And then this bit here, I just squashed it a little bit more just to make it kind of apparent because that's going to have like a little um, veranda going around this part here. So hopefully we can do that as well. Anyway, moving on, moving on. Um, so yes, uh, what was I saying? Um, horror month. Horror month on Twitch as well. I'm starting a horror game tonight on Twitch. If you guys love a bit of horror like I do, then come and join us. Come and join us for some horror spooky times this evening. I'm playing a game called... Um, I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> we'll just call it Tracy. We are playing a horror game called Tracy. So if you would like to join us playing Tracy, then be my guest, my darlings. <laughs> I can't remember what the horror game is called. It's definitely not called Tracy. That would be a weird name for a horror game. I mean, I would be for it. I would be for it. A nice horror game called Trace. Get on Trace. <laughs> Get on Tracy, darling. Um, but yes, what is it called again? Something Mind. Let me have a look. It is called In Sound Mind. There we go. It's a new horror game. Very much looking forward to playing it and date. So yes, if you want to join me, 7 p.m. GMT. If not, then don't fucking bother. All right. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, sweetheart. Right. Why does that keep doing that? Why do you keep having a little flat bit on this side? I'm, I do not want that. Stop it. Right. And then you're going to go to there. Oh, oh, oh. This is, needs to be... I mean, it's not as short there. Let me see that. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would do, actually. Quite nice. It's got like a, a, a balcony up here. I'm unsure if I want to do that or not. I don't know. I don't know. I think that might be a bit difficult with the Sims roofing techniques. We all know the Sims roofing is bloody awful. Now, I need to roughly just think about this. Um, the kind of veranda roofing here. So I'm going to have a little play off of camera because I think this could take a while and a few other ways of doing things. So let me just try this off of camera and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so the roof that I wanted to try and recreate, it's just not possible without the balcony here. And I don't want to have a balcony there. So I've decided to just go for a nice squared looking roof instead. And we're going to put some lovely pillars down on this side. Um, and then I centralized the lot a little bit more as well. That I just, I don't know, I think it looks quite nice. I do, I'm for it. Now, this house has got white windows, an orange door and green siding and i do actually really like that i think what i want to do though however is change the um color of the door i'm not too sure about the orange we're gonna try it we're gonna try it 
So let me have a little test. We'll get some windows out as well. I think the cats and dogs windows would look good here. But also, I think the snowy escape ones would look lush on this house too. So let me pull out an array of things. And then we're going to start putting them on together. Couldn't find any orange doors that weren't absolutely disgusting. So what we're going to use, we're going to use red instead. We're going to do red and green. Now I found this siding, which is very similar to the other ones. I went through several of the green ones. Several of the windows as well, including this siding here. I just, ugh, yeah, it's not right for this house. It's nice. I don't mind that like chunky wood siding, but it's just not right for this house. So we're not going to do it. Now I'm wondering whether to do brick at the bottom with this siding because I know that it has got the matching kind of brick here. Um, if I can find the right colorway, this one. I think I might actually, just down on the bottom levels, not all of it either. I think I might do like brick there. Do I want to do brick on this? Maybe. Hmm. No, we'll do brick there. Brick there. We'll keep this free from brick. All the way, because then I can use this brick for the chimney breast as well, which I'm very much here for. Um, so I'm going to flop you to there. Lovely. Uh, annoyingly, I don't know why this doesn't work properly on corners. There is obviously a corner there, Sims 4. I don't understand why it does that. It winds me up because then you get that weird like white stop off here. Don't worry, we're going to go around and add in columns anyway. So it's not, not all is lost. Not all is lost, darlings. But that is so annoying. I hate that. I've always hated that as well. Why the Sims does that. <gasps> Oh, I can't be dealing with it. Now, I decided to go on the snowy escape windows. Main reasons being we've used them over here. I just think it would help set this house in with this. It's a very similar kind of color scheme to this house, to be honest with you. Just a little bit more darker. Um, and I'm kind of here for it. Very much here for it. So let's find that brick. I can't think where that brick is, to be honest. Probably in bricks, to be honest with you, Aiden. Yes, very much so. Uh, where are you, though, please? There we go. Found it. Took me about 55 years then, but I did find it. Yep, all the way up onto the chimney breast area. I think that will look nice. Let's get rid of you, please. And let's start placing in these windows. Now, I thought the kitchen might do well in here. So would an office as well, though. So I'm unsure of what's going to go in here just yet. Unsure just yet. Now, we're going to use these down on this level here. Let me get in the middle first, and then we'll work from there. There we go. Stunning up here as well now you need to come down to about there weirdly because i tried it a little bit higher i was like oh it looks nice around about there and then i went into the interior and it was the window was like up in the sky somewhere so it's not the vibe um i would love to put two windows here but whenever i put two windows here it just looks crowded and weird to my eye so i'm just gonna go for one there one window is that at the same height i don't think it is actually is it so let's whiffle you up to the same height please thank you now, I do want a window at the top here, but I thought would, we would pick this together. I did try the cats and dogs one, and it did look really nice, this one here. Um, it did look actually quite nice on this build. So I think I might use it, to be honest with you. Yep, I do like it. Yep, what about up there as well? Um, yeah, I do think so. Yeah, not perfect, but we'll make and do with what we've got with the limitations that the Sim 4 does have. Yes, indeed. Now, I do want to do an entrance out from here. I'm probably seeing the living area being in this room here. So it would probably make sense to have the kitchen in here. Maybe the office in this level. That could be a vibe. So let me, let's do a floor plan together. We haven't done a floor plan together in a hot titty minute. So I normally just do all my floor plans myself. Now, so living area. Let's walk straight into the living room as well straight into the living room i know that that is a thing in america quite often and it's the same with smaller houses in the uk as well but um one of my friends from the us said it is quite common for you to just walk straight into the living room and i never thought that was the thing in the us i thought that was mainly for people with smaller kind of homes and stuff um what are we working with upstairs now there isn't masses amounts of space up here so i might have to just get rid of this here, just so we've got a little bit more space to work with. Excuse me, please. Thank you. And then go all the way down to there as well. Now, where are we going to put the stairs? That's one thing. Um, I'm going to try a few places, actually, and then I'll come back. Okay, I had to do that off of camera because that was doing my tits in. It really was. First off, I had to knock out this and then obviously the roof that I put in there all caved in. And I can't, you just, sims. What more can be said? Um, so anyway, 
So you walk straight into the living room. Living room here. It's not a massive living room. I didn't even didn't really want a huge living room, to be honest with you. I may, however, shorten down the size of the kitchen and big up the dining room. So I'm gonna have like a door here or an archway. Dining room here, kitchen here, then we've got this little like hallway moment going across here. This is going to be the office. I'm, as I said, I want him to have a substantial big office. So I'm definitely going to have some kind of exit from the kitchen out onto this veranda here, area here. Um, this is going to be a toilet, toilet, bathroom downstairs. So this office is going to be split up somehow. I may have a little area that's risen up and whatnot. I don't know, but I really wanted it to have a nice big space down the bottom. So that's going to be the office at the back of the house. Got everything sorted there. Dining room, kitchen, living room, hallway, office, toilet, back area. And it's got quite a nice garden size as well, which is cool. Upstairs, two bedrooms and a big bathroom as well. Big bathroom. Ignore the fences, the stairs, everything. I've not chosen them yet. So I think this is going to be the master suite. And this is going to be the bedroom as to um, when the teen moves in. Now, I'm not going to furnish the teen until I've picked the teen from you guys. So that will come into play a little bit later on. Oh, God, that was stressful. That was stressful. How stressful can it be doing a little tiny suburban house? And I got stressed doing it. Calm your tits, Aiden. That's all I can say. Now, we're going to put a fireplace there as well. I forgot to say that. So it's not in the exact place that the chimney is, but it's close enough. And that is all that matters, isn't it, darlings? Yes, it is. Yes, it is indeed. Let's move you centrally into the middle there. I don't think I want to do more than three windows on that side. No, because then I can do... Hopefully I can do three here, or at least I could do maybe I could do like one. Let's get that at the right height. It's down there, my darlings. Mm, maybe not. I mean, it's got three windows in there already. It doesn't need to be greedy, do they? Do they? Now, this isn't going to be balanced at the bottom, but I think we do need to get a little bit of light into that area. Yeah, I think so. And these windows are all still, to me, a little bit too high. Oh, no, they're okay, actually. They're fine. They are fine. We're going to crack on. Do I want to do a window on this side here? I mean, they'd have a view of the rooftop, but it might look nice to have a little bit more light coming through just up there. Let me see that. I mean, that's not at the right height for a start. Let me see. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about that. Unsure. Unsure. We're moving on. No, that looks stupid. That would be a very bad design choice from the architects if they did design this house, wouldn't it? Yeah. So this is the dining room. So I want to use some more of these windows here. A little bit different than the other ones. Um, but it's nice to do things a little bit differently sometimes, isn't it? Now, is that in the center of the room? Um, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, I'm going to use these in the kitchen. So we need these at a nice height so the counters won't... So the counters will fit. So I'll do that there. Across there, we're going to do a door there as well. Um, office space. I'm, I'm not going to put the windows on the office space just yet because I don't know how we're going to furnish this. I don't know how I'm going to separate it off. We're going to have like a little library area. All of that kind of good stuff. Reading nook and whatnot. Now, this is a big bathroom. Big bathroom down here. But I kind of wanted a couple. I kind of wanted to have a bit more of a bigger substantial bathrooms on both sides as well. There's a bigger bathroom up here. Maybe that will make it a bit more exciting to furnish it. I very much doubt it because you know what I'm like for furnishing bathrooms. It's just not my jam, darlings. Absolutely not my jam. We'll do two of them there. I might have to replicate that here. Now, I know this is the office, the part that we said we weren't going to do. But I think we might have to replicate that here. Okay. Stunning. Absolutely for it. Okay, it's starting to look okay now. It is. It's starting to get there. Now, roofing. I think, what do we use over there? We use the slate ones. I don't think, I, I want to do something a bit more crisp on this one, I think. Maybe something along these kind of lines. Uh, I really hate that colour though. So maybe I'll go for this one instead. Um, Don't know. Maybe we could use one of the newish ones. It does look quite... I always forget about the shit swatches with this though. Snowy escape. You had to be fooled when I thought the roof tiles were going to be good and you decided to give us these colours. Shame on you. Shame on you indeed. No, that looks absolutely shockingly shit. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> roof tiles. Do we need them? Yes, we do. Because they're all crap in this game. They really are. I know I'm being negative. Just let me be. <laughs> I'm allowed to. All right. I got pissed off there doing the floor plan. It's too my head in. <laughs> 
Uh, I think this is probably going to be the way to go. Yeah, it is. It is. We're going to crisp it up with some white trims all the way throughout. I prefer these ones. I think that's the one that's on there already, isn't it? So maybe we can go a bit more substantial with these. Yeah, we'll do these. Do this one here, which is the... Oh, no, it is. It's base game. I think they got added at a later date, these roof trims. I'm going to moan once again, but my God, the roof trims are shit as well, aren't they? Oh, the roof trims shit. Absolutely shockingly shit. Now, if I use the square roof trim, I'll be able to get some detail up there as well, which would look kind of cool, I think. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to do that as well. going to do that. These windows look so weird here. So weird. What if I did like a row? I know they would like be meeting in the middle. But what if I did like a row of them? Oh, I hate when windows go right up to the wall like that, though. Oh, God, they look so high. I think what I might have to do, actually, is use the bigger ones down here. Use the bigger ones. Uh, and what about if I did like a group like there and there? There and there. Oh, God, that's not right. There and there. That's better. Oh, and we can do that upstairs as well. Maybe I'll do the smaller ones upstairs, though, rather than the bigger ones. So let me see this. If I did one there, one there, one there, one there. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. And then we can always put on this as well onto that area there too. Just to add a little bit more shenistic weather. You know? Yeah, no. You know. And we'll do the same here. One more there. Beautiful. Is this at the right height? It is. Why are you so high? They look really high for some reason. Maybe I just need to reduce this roof height down a little bit more then. Will that make it look too flat from the front though? I mean, not really. I do want to move these down slightly. I keep looking at them. They keep pissing me off, so I'm doing it. Yeah, that's better. That balance is much better, actually. But what I could do is just pull these up so it kind of just meets like a little bit more there so we don't have too much of a flat roof. So let's get that doing, shall we? Beautiful. And the same here, please, if you would, my darling. Oh, you're going to be an absolute piece of shit. I mean, it's cutting in slightly there, but... What can be said, you know? What can be said indeed? Now, let's get a foundation on. So we've chosen this brick. Do we want to do the brick all the way? I think we do. I think that looks quite nice, actually. Yes. Yes, I'm for it. Get some stairs in. Get some stairs in. Um, Probably going to want some stone stairs, to be honest. What did I use over there? I did use these. So I think I'll use these on this house as well. But maybe we could go a bit more... Of a brun. Sorry, I'm burping again. A gassy me. What is with me recording a gassy? I did have a kombucha. I did. I did have a kombucha. Yes. Very nice. God, this is very suburban for me, isn't it? To go from um, the Hargroves to this. <laughs> this is not where I'm comfortable building this kind of build. Um, It is not my shit. It is not my shit. I'm just not, a, especially not an American... Um suburban house uk give me it all day but this is just not my jam this now i think the fence needs to be quite quite decorative i'm just looking up to that house to see what i used there and i didn't but i think this needs to be quite decorative on this one that does look nice let's do that and then this does come with matching banisters as well doesn't it i'm sure it does yes it does for once you know for once Oh, uh, is that too... I don't know. Let me have a look at some other fences. I decided on using the snowy escape fence as well instead, sorry. Um, main reasons being, I just think it suits the shape of the house a little bit more. It's still decorative, but the shape of it. The other bit was just a little bit too classic. This is kind of a semi-modern looking house, really. Um, so, yeah, I decided on using that. And I think we're going to leave it here for today as well. We've managed to get quite a big bit done, to be honest with you. Um, got the main structure of the house done. Lots of details going into this. But um, I think I'll leave it here today. I'll definitely be back this week at some point with this. So be on the looks out for it, my loves. There we go, my dears. Part one of the Dyer Smith house is complete. As I said, I will be back with this at some point this week. So just keep an eye out for that, my darling, darling friends. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with the first part of the Sanderson Sisters Hocus Pocus build. 
spooky vibes all around. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Don't forget to use that hashtag that I said in the beginning of the video. If you do want to submit a sim to this household, I'm looking forward to reading through your stories. I'm going to do all of this all week. So the kind of cutoff point really is on Sunday. Uh, because on Monday, I'm going to pick the one and plop the one into game, the team that I have picked from you guys. But yes, I'm going to leave you now. As I said, don't forget, I'm going to be streaming tonight. Horror games, 7 p.m. You do want to join. And if not, see you tomorrow.